All right, guys, so here we are. We're going to be going over the Master Duel tier list post-return of the King. Of course, I have five different categories, and we're going to be talking about every single one of these decks and what do I think about these strategies. Later on in the month, we will talk about what I got right, what I got wrong, and everything in between, all right? So we're going to go ahead and be here with chat. They're obviously going to give uh, some additional feedback or maybe even some thoughts and opinions on what do I think these decks are immediately. I will still say, even with the new selection pack, Master Duel is not in the best shape right now. And what I mean about not in the best shape right now, I mean that this deck is one of the most represented decks. Uh, Snake Eyes is one of the best decks in Master Duel. Uh, alongside of the Super Heavy Samurai. Like, guys, if you guys are going to send in replays, do not send in these two replays. We we're tired of seeing them. We're done. We're through. Please, no more. Please, please, please. Do not send any more of these replays, all right? Uh, that's pretty much what it is with these two particular decks. Uh, and we'll go ahead and jump on in and start talking about some of the other decks and where do they stand. Uh, ironically, and I think chat will back me up here, Branded is still really good. Uh, it, it's still a solid Yu-Gi-Oh deck no matter what, which is really ironic. I thought that Branded opening getting hit would have been basically them saying, hey, Chimeras are about to come out. And unfortunately, the selection pack did not give us Chimera yet either. So really interesting to see the strategy that they're going to be embarking on. But right now, I still think that Branded is a solid Yu-Gi-Oh deck, a little bit reliant on Blazing Cartesia in Master Duel than Branded Fusion, seeing that of its limitations. Uh, Dark Road is Xbox crossplay off. This deck's just, it, it's not, it's not good. It just does not exist as a strategy and is not cost effective. If you guys are building Dark World, good luck. Way too many ultra rares to even justify uh, this deck and the payoff that it would give you. Uh, Dragons, I would put in Experimental. And the reason why I don't put them in Xbox Crossplay Alpha is yet, yes, pretty much the deck has fallen a face off, off the face of the earth. Banning White Dragon Wyver Buster is clearly... Konami saying that they do not want us to play dragons anymore. Play something else. And um, there were some people that were coping. And there were some people that said the deck's still good. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the case. But the thing about dragons is that with every new dragon that gets introduced into the game, it does help the strategy. So that's why I'm going to put it in experimental because, you know, there could be some dragon monsters out in the future that just comes to Master Duel before it comes to the TCG and changes the whole thing. Am I coping? Potentially coping. Does this stream title mean that, oh, all these decks are budget friendly? Sorry, no, that was for the last one. We are doing the Master Duel budget tier, or Master Duel tier list. Yeah, we're, we're not doing the budget tier list anymore. So let's go ahead and move on uh, to the next strategy. Let me go ahead and change the title really quick. All right, next is going to be Exosister. Exosister does fairly well when the cards are moving out of the graveyard. So in theory... It does do well against decks like uh, Snake Eyes. But the problem with this particular strategy is that like Shifters at 2, the deck is power crept. None of the Exo Sister monsters pretty much stand up for themselves. The strongest one is Martha, which is not hard to knock over. And the other ones are incredibly weak. Uh, I'm going to put it in takes a really good pilot because it still can still wins off of the top decks. But uh, you have to make up for its differences or its deficiencies in them not necessarily being strong monsters and also still being pretty easy to cook. Um, Flew under Reese. Uh, this deck is still fairly powerful, ironically. And go ahead and chime in, guys. Chat, what do you guys think? Um, but I, I think that Flew under Reese is cooked because of its limitations for Master Duel. Uh, it's proved that Yu-Gi-Oh! players do not like Flew under Reese, but it's still a solid deck. <sighs> Labyrinth is getting transaction rollback. And it's actually huge. Uh, the biggest thing about transaction rollback for Labyrinth is that you can copy Big Welcome Labyrinth to be able to summon from your deck in return. And the reason why that's so important for Labyrinth is because it makes the deck a little less susceptible to cards like Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion and Ash Blossom and Joy Spring because now they can use transaction rollback to copy that effect again. Uh, I think because of this, I think Lab is going to boost itself into really good. Half your light points does not matter. It it it's, it legitimately is fake. It's not real, chat. I'm telling you right now. 
I think the problems with Labyrinth in the TCG is that everybody's playing Ghost Belt, everybody's playing Ash Blossom. You know, in Master Duel, it's a lot different. We don't really see many people using Ghost Belt, but we do see a lot of Ash Blossom, and Transaction Rollback does help mitigate that Ash Blossom. And it gets more consistent. Yes, I agree. Uh, Marine says, I think Marine says biggest problem in Master Duel right now is Maxi. Now, somebody did ask us a little bit earlier uh, for budget players. If you were to pick a budget player, I think Marine Tests are a budget deck in this tier list. I think Marine Tests would be an incredibly good starter budget deck that you guys could play and have some success with. Your only problem, Maxi. It's literally the only deck's problem. Uh, Dark Roll. And, and that, oh, I'm sorry, going second too. That is a deciding factor for this deck. Uh, Heroes and Master Duel. You know, I'm going to put them in takes a really good pilot. Uh, I, don't, I don't think they're experimental because we already know the hero lines. Uh, Dark Law is crazy good. Infernal Rage, wake up your elemental hero makes the deck a lot more consistent. Um, if, if you can get Dark Law out against some of the top decks, uh, it's not like they'll lose, but they do have to address that problem uh, before anything. Uh, Math Mech? Chat, what do you guys think about Math Mech? Go ahead and tell me what you think about Math Mech and we'll come right back. Uh, ninjas. I think Ninjas is... Woo! In Master Duel. Ah, uh, okay. They should be Xbox Cross Play Off, but I'm going to put them in Experimental. And the reason why I'm going to put them in Experimental is because we are going to be doing a Nuzlocke with Ninjas and some of the other Structured decks. I'm going to get to Masters with just the Structured decks of Ninjas. And I think there's some potential because it's a solid going second deck. Uh, Kira Kara is really good with the deck. Book of Moon cards are solid to be able to stop your opponent from setting up. And then you can tribute your opponent's monsters to be able to prevent them from getting into the game. So I, I think ninjas could be experimental, but it, it could be my hopey I'm talking. It could be Xbox crossplay off. <laughs> Math mech can circle the drain, turn crossplay off, and beat up the noobs if you play Math Mech. Just pick a new deck. Leave Math Mech alone. Master Duel, it's too wild because no one mains nip often. I think that Math Mechs are in that takes a really good pilot range. And the reason why is because uh, you still got Math Mech Circular, which is one of the most busted Yu-Gi-Oh cards in, in, in Yu-Gi-Oh, probably. The only problem with Math Mech is Math Mech Diameter is limited, and that does take away Math Mech's long game and ability to be able to play, uh, which that's why it takes a good pilot. Uh, Plunder Patrol, I think Plunder Patrol is in the experimental. It's, it's a solid Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Maybe even Plunder Patrol Labyrinth might be the best best version of the deck, but then you probably just better off playing Labyrinth. Uh, it's a solid deck. It, it can combo off, but I don't think it's really good against the top decks that's going on right now. Uh, Dark Magician. Yep, that, that's pretty much it for Dark Magician. Uh, I would not recommend trying to take Dark Magician to Masters. Uh, I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying it, it's going to be a perilous situation. Uh, same thing with Gold Pride Punk. I think it's experimental. This deck's uh, power crept like crazy, which is weird because it just got support just recently. Uh, this is, these are supposed to be Gold Pride Punk. My apologies. Pure Punk is Xbox crossplay off. Don't even, don't even do it. You just play both of them together. There's no reason for you to play Punk without Gold Pride because the Gold Pride cards allow you to extend past hand traps, which is really important. Now what you guys are here for, which is the red... Dragon Arch Fiend, the Master of Faster, the Crimson King, the deck that you guys want to see win. Honestly, coming into Master Duel, there are a couple of problems with this deck. The first one is Magnemite is already limited. Serenir is also at one. So the Bistial version of this deck does get a lot worse. The next thing is that while Red Dragon Arch Fiend could be a powerful card, it's... I I'm... You know what? I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. It probably should be an experimental. I'm going to put it in takes a really good pilot. And the reason why is because Supernova Dragon banishes all your opponent's cards. And I think that will be the way that we're going to be seeing people play Red Dragon Archfiend. Maybe even Red Dragon Archfiend Dragon Link, just like how a Penguin says, could be the next wave. Now, keep in mind, White Dragon's banned, so temper your expectations. And the Bistial Monsters are hit excuse me but uh the deck it's not worth crafting the gems unless scarred red is the only ultra rare 
if they make like the Resonator monsters really, you know, the new Resonator cards and Bone Arch Fiend, yada yada, not worth it. But if this is the only ultra rare that you need, which we know that's really not, you know, then it's worth it. Um, Vanquish Soul kind of fell off the map, and I, I can actually explain to you why. Vanquish Soul does terrible against combo decks. It loves mid range formats, but more importantly, Fenrir's at one, and that that was that was a killer. People like to say that Maxi is a good Earth target for Vanquish Soul. It's not like. Maxi is meant to be used, not held into your hand. So it's not a good earth target. Castier Fenrir was the perfect complement to the deck, and it being at one definitely hers. Um Rika, I think Rika is another one of those strategies that like not only it suffers from the Maxi matchup. It's it's like it uh, the Maxi epidemic. But this is a worse deck than Marines us because it just doesn't do enough right now. Um, Scareclaws Scareclaws ridiculously power corrupt it, It's just not good uh, Sprite I don't think Sprite's terrible I think it's better than these decks down here uh, But Sprite is not the best deck in the world it, It's also power corrupt uh, Sword Soul is power corrupt still But it, it, it finds a way to make sense I think uh, Protos is probably the biggest reason Why this deck can even exist against fire because Protos call fire is 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 could be good enough. Chaos decks, Chaos Ruler is banned, guys. Tier Elements, I I think it'd be a crime to put Tier Elements anything lower to experimental. Keep in mind, Kikalos is still off the list, um, and this deck just finds innovative ways to stay into the game. Um, I'm calling the police. If you think that Trap Tricks are the best deck in Yu-Gi-Oh, I, I genuinely am calling the police because I know what type of player you are. Blue Eyes. That, that's pretty accurate. Ironically, Pearly, Pearly's in a really weird spot in both the TCG and Master Duel. Like, this deck is not bad. No one plays it. it. It's actually in a very good spot in both the TCG and Master Duel. It is a solidly good Yu-Gi-Oh deck. You just gotta be on your P's and Q's with this deck. I would say it's like the worst really good so far. Um, Monodium is it benefits from it being a combo format. It goes first and it just does whatever it wants. Uh, Dragon Rulers, 100% cross playoff. Dinos, ironically, I would say Dinos are really good. It's a combo format and this deck has Miscat 3. It's literally built to beat every single one of these decks other than Labyrinth and probably Pearly. But against Monodium, if you resolve Misc, you're breaking their board. Against these two decks, if you resolve Misc, you are breaking the board. Like, there, there's no if, ands, and buts. Like, the deck is just in crazy good at that. But I would not play this deck. It costs way too many gems to pilot. Like, it's in, in there's so many wrong ways to build this deck. Uh, Zodiacs, I think Zodiacs are experimental. Nothing wrong with them. Uh, Sky Striker, I would put them in takes a good pilot. When you get to Blue Eyes, remember, you can use Apple and Assault Synchron to make Barone. It can run Bestial Spirit to tag out for Crimson. And target bro. Can I put Blue Eyes under cross playoff? He he just described Dragon Link, like worse Dragon Link, except you have to play Blue Eyes cards. And I don't mean to I don't mean to rag on Blue Eyes. We actually use Blue Eyes to be the top tier Yu-Gi-Oh deck. You guys remember that? That that was crazy. We we did it. But it come on, don't don't do that. Don't don't. <laughs> uh, Dino Morphia. Uh, I transaction rollback actually makes this deck a lot better he described a five card combo <laughs> i think transaction rollback makes this deck a lot more like a lot more consistent a lot better but even more importantly paying half your life points again bro i want that dino warfare player that consistently gets on 420 life points or 69 life points we need them hello that's fair i made one win away from masters but that's fair i don't know if they're being i don't know if they're being serious like if they're like it's it, you're like you're correct, or if they're like trolling, like yeah, I made one win, bro. You you can get, and and let's let's put emphasis on this. Every single one of these strategies you can get the masters with, <laughs> right? I, it's just the ease of getting to masters, right? If if Amelia got us with blue eyes, I really want to see your replays. You really got to show us some replays because I am the only person, and this is since Master Duel has came out. 
I am the only person to win with blue eyes. We have never had a person win with blue eyes, chat. And they can attest to this. Anybody that has been a damage stepper since the beginning, we have never seen a, like, obviously, they play blue eyes against a structure deck. I've seen them lose still on that one, too. We need blue eyes games where you just clap the meta. Please, Amelia, please send those in. Please send those in. If you're one win away from Masters, we need to see your replays. Seriously, seriously. Ser I am dead ass. We need to see them. Um, You got me? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> I made Diamond 1 with Dark Magician. Don't ask how many games that took. <laughs> I think TGs, I think it's a disservice to put TGs in, in experimental. The deck is bad. <laughs> like, it's bad. No, it's just, I was going to say it's better than these decks, but it's bad. It's so bad. It's, it's like, uh, it, it's, it's, it's pretty dog. Uh, junk speeder deck is actually better, but. Like, these have better cards. I'd rather normal summon Junk Synchron than special summon TG Werewolf. Like, th those aren't even remotely close to the same cards. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, they're just bad. Invertible is actually one of the better combo decks in the game. Uh, this is this is top-tier combo deck. People are just starting to realize how powerful and ridiculous this deck is. And I know you guys can't see, so let me... Hold on. I I apologize. I just realized you guys cannot see all of these strategies. My fault, chat. Y'all like that magic? Boom. So that's what I got right now. And holy crap, where are we now? Tistina? Oh, my God. Woo! I, okay, I'll put them in experimental. I don't expect Tistina to do anything relevant. Like, just period. I do not expect them to do any of that. Like, oops. God damn, I can't even. It won't even let me. Damn. So, Tistina are just on the edge of the edge, chat. That's all I can say. There's no more after that. Anything on experimental is just bad. But Tis Tistinas are worse ninjas, guys. Uh, it, it It's not even a real deck. And I will say Earthbound is probably in takes a good pilot. I don't think that the Earthbound cards are terrible. And Master Duel, you're going to get away with a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Um, I do want to say that both the Cash Tira and the um, Runic versions are pretty much dead. But there is possibilities for this deck to find a way. I'm a, I think it's, it takes a good pilot. The cards are pretty insane, and it works well with other field spell decks. But that's all that I have for my Master Duel tier list post-Return of the King. Let me know what you guys think. Did I get something wrong? Did I get something right? Let's see at the end of the format what I got right and what replays you guys have sent in to change my mind. I can't wait to see them.